Hey everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll explain the Hunter ability in the passive skill mod. Right off the bat, it gives us more armor and lets us add up to two gems to our crafted bows. When in the main hand, it boosts bow ATK speed by 52%, letting us shoot way faster at full charge. It also gives extra health and allows two gems on helmets we've personally crafted. Plus it adds three armor, two more armor, nine stealth, and a ton of evasion. So, how does this skill tree work? It's this one called Hunter. If we start upgrading, you'll see it gives 5% arrow retrieval. It means when you shoot an arrow, you get it back. As you can see, it gives 15% here and up to 25% total arrow return chance. Remember, you can shoot arrows with effects, so be careful. The left side focuses more on damage, while the right side here concentrates on evasion. As I said, this area is all about evasion, up to will to survive, which gives 10% more evasion if you're above 50% health. We have this extra tool, Bloodthirsty, which regenerates one health point for each projectile we hit. Also, if we go down the attack path, we can reach Bloodthirsty Blade, giving 0.5 health per hit which could be interesting. Grab an extra point here and a point and a half there. In the end, we've got some cool stuff giving us an extra point and a half of health. To get the helmet's extra rune, you'd use this item here, the Hatter. This way we'd score an extra gem. Here's the retrieval chance again. This one gives a 10% chance of getting your arrow back, while this one gives 5%. This basically adds more capacity to quivers. I didn't pick it because it's not that great, but it lets you store more arrows if you want. Remember, quiver items can hold up to 250 arrows, which is pretty sweet for a class like the Hatter. So that's the whole quiver section. Then there's fitted armor, giving 0.25 armor per evasion point. Over here we have, oh, I didn't mention this, but the Hatter adds a ton of mob loot. These bones here, the initial bone actually gives you up to 100% mob loot, meaning a 15% chance to get the same loot from a mob again. And here it gives you a bit more, totaling 30%. The treasure hunter gives you a 15% chance to get double extra loot from a mob. We also have fitted armor, which I've shown you, and sniper that gives 5% more damage per block between you and the enemy. So the further away, the more damage you'll do. Here's the damage section I've presented. Here we have max health, attack speed, and critical damage that all runes have, plus 25% projectile damage, which is basically what I've mentioned. Here's the decorative bow, the extra gem for the bow we craft, and here are some extra features that are less relevant to the hunter tool. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. It looks really promising. See you in future videos.